Hi there everybody, welcome to our vodcast on the parts of the microscope and how to use a microscope. In this vodcast, what we'll talk about are the different parts that make up the microscope and how to use them to focus in on an object. So let's get started. All right, the first piece I want to talk about is your eyepiece. The eyepiece is the part of the microscope that you're going to look into. That's why it's called the eyepiece, and this usually has a magnification of 10x. And you look into the eyepiece as you would see the girl looking into the eyepiece in this picture here. Next, underneath the eyepiece, we have what's called the body tube. The body tube just connects the eyepiece to another piece called the revolving nose piece. The revolving nose piece is important because this is the part of the microscope that has the three objective lenses. The three objective lenses are going to be the lenses that help magnify an object so you can see it through the eyepiece. Now, let's take a look really briefly on how to use the revolving nose piece to click an objective lens into place. To select the proper objective lens is simple. All you have to do is rotate the lenses until they click into place, as you can hear in this clip. And that's all you have to do. So hopefully that was easy enough. Now let's take a look at the three objective lenses that we have on the microscope. Now if you take a look at the microscope, we have three objective lenses with three different colors. We have a red lens, a yellow lens, and a blue lens. Now, we name these the scanning lens, the low power lens, and then the high power. Now, we call this the scanning lens, as you'll see, because we use this to scan for objects. We call the yellow lens a low power lens because New York State refers to this as a low power. And then we have the blue lens, which we call the high power, which has the highest magnification. Now, earlier I mentioned that the eyepiece has a magnification of 10x, or 10 power. Now, this comes into play when we, when we figure out total magnification of an object. The red lens here, as you'll see, has the number 4 here. So when we take that 4 and multiply it by the 10 by the eyepiece, that gives the red lens a total magnification of 40x. We just multiply the 4 by the 10 on the eyepiece. The low power lens, the yellow one, has a 10 here. So when we switch on to this, that's going to give us a total magnification of 100 power. 10 power for the lens and then 10 power for the eyepiece. And then lastly, we have the high power lens. The high power lens has a 40 marked on it, so this is 40 power. And when you multiply it by the 10 power of the eyepiece, this gives you 400 power in total magnification. So these are our three objective lenses, and these are the magnifications that they have. Now let's take a look at what these images look like under these different magnifications. Now here on this slide, I have three representations of how the magnification will change when you switch over. Scanning power only does 40 times, so that means it blows up the object 40 times bigger than it normally looks like. So it's going to look bigger compared to the naked eye. However, under the microscope, this is our smallest view. So you're going to see most of the object as you see here. Low power is going to raise it to 100 magnification. So we're going to zoom in and it's going to make the object look bigger. So we're going to be able to see a little bit more detail, but less of the total object. Here you have this entire shape, whereas in 100 power, you have just this part of the shape. And then when we switch to 400 power, 400 power is going to, again, zoom in even further, blow the object up even bigger, allow us to see more detail than we normally would see. Now let's take a look at some examples of blood cells at the different magnifications on the microscope. At the top left here, we have 40x, which is 40 power, which is our smallest magnification. Since it's our smallest magnification, our images are going to be smaller and we're going to see more of them and more of the field of view. So that's why you see a lot of small dots. But as we switch our objective lenses to a higher power, such as low power to 100x, this blows up the image 100 times its regular size. So as a result, we zoom in on the image and it gets bigger. And because we can see bigger versions of the image, we get to see a little bit more detail, but less of what's in our field of view. Then when we switch over to high power, our high power lens gives us the biggest magnification on the microscope. So this microscope magnification is blowing up the blood cells 400 times their size. And this is going to give us our greatest detail and give us the fewest or smallest area of the field of view that we can see. So this is what magnification looks like when using the compound microscope. So let's go take a look at the rest of the parts of the microscope. Okay, so underneath the objective lenses, we have what's called the stage. The stage is the platform where you clip your slide on. And this is where we view the specimen. Kind of like when you go see a band, they perform on the stage. That's where everyone looks to see them. That's where we're going to look to see the specimen on the microscope. 
To keep the slides stable on the stage, what we want to do is use stage clips. The stage clips will hold the slides in place, just as you can see in this picture here. Since the stage clips are on the slide, the slide won't easily move on the stage, thus you won't quickly lose the specimen that you're looking at. We have two adjustment knobs that you should know about. We have the course adjustment knob, which is the bigger knob, and this is used to raise the stage or lower it, and this is what we use to focus on low power. So when we're under the red, the 40 power, or the yellow, the 100 power lenses, we use this to help focus. Then we have a smaller adjust adjustment knob called the fine adjustment, and this sharpens the image under high magnification. So the fine adjustment knob is only used on the blue lens. This way the blue lens doesn't drive through the slide and crack the slide that we're looking at. The last two pieces that we have is the light source. The light source is the source that provides the light so we can illuminate and see the specimen. So the light will pass through the light source and through the hole in the stage right through the slide. And this allows us to see it. And then lastly we have the base which is just the wide bottom of the microscope to give it stability and support. So those are the different parts and functions of the microscope. Let's take a look at how we go about focusing the microscope. To focus in on an object, the first thing we'll do is secure the slide to the stage with the stage clips. Then we'll adjust the diaphragm to allow the proper amount of light to pass through the stage. This allows us to see the specimen. Four or five is usually the best. We'll then turn the course adjustment knob until the stage comes all the way up, and this will bring the image out of focus as you can see here. If you take a look, I place my thumb at the 12 o'clock position to show you how little I have to turn it. I barely move it towards the 1 o'clock position, and this will bring it, the image into focus and give you a crisp picture like this. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Those are the different parts of the microscope, and that's how you go about focusing an image on the microscope. Thank you for your time, and I hope you found that helpful.